What's up guys, Josh here from Keep It Techie, and today I'm excited to guide you through installing LM Studio on Ubuntu 24.04. Now LM Studio is a fantastic tool that lets you run large language models directly on your machine, giving you the power of AI without relying on cloud services. Let's dive in. All right, welcome back to Keep It Techie. And if you're new here, my channel is all about teaching people Linux and helping others get into the tech field. And today we're focusing on LM Studio, a user-friendly application that allows you to run large language models locally on your Ubuntu 24.04 system. Now I'm saying Ubuntu 24.04 because that's the distro I'll use to get it installed, but it also works on other Linux distros. Just check out the documentation, which I'll bring up in a couple of seconds. But running LLMs locally ensures that your data stays private and gives you full control over your AI interaction. And just to give you guys a quick overview, LM Studio is designed to make it easy to download, install, and run LLMs on your local machine, also your laptop. So whether you're a developer or you just want to research this stuff or you may be a tech enthusiast, LM Studio provides a seamless experience to interact with advanced language models without the need for cloud-based services. And this not only enhances privacy and security, but it also reduces latency since everything runs directly on your hardware. Plus it supports a variety of models, allowing you to experiment with different AI capabilities right from your desktop. And so let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so I can show you guys how to get this thing installed. Hey y'all, Josh here from Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community driven, open source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you want to keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community for the community and it's here to stay. Stay techie, y'all. So I'm logged into my Ubuntu 24.04 virtual machine and let's go down and get LM Studio installed. First off, I wanted to show you guys at least the website, but all you have to do is go to lmstudio.ai. And of course I had a link down in the description of the video. And this is where you can get the installer for whatever operating system you're using. And as you can see, it supports all three major operating systems. So you got Apple, Windows, and Linux. And I'm gonna show you guys on Linux. And the process is simple on all three, but let me just go down and show you guys how to do it. So all you have to do first off is just download it. Oh, one thing I wanted to cover, if we go down in here, I wanted to at least show you guys this right here where the minimum hardware requirements. So if you wanna check that out and I'll open that up in another link. But also this question right here is highly important. It says, does LM Studio collect any data? And basically, no. One of the main reasons for a local LLM is privacy. So this is the best way to run, let's say you want to run DeepSeek, you know what I'm saying, on your system using a UI, then this application is good for you because it's running offline. It's just like Olama, it's running offline. It doesn't collect any information or data and you can just run this thing offline and just play around with it. So you can try out DeepSeek like it, what everybody is talking about. Let's scroll up to the top. Let's go down and download it right fast. Or actually, did I download it? I didn't click the button yet, but yeah, all you have to do is click download. It'll download, it's about a gig. It's 900 megabytes, the actual app image. And so let's just wait for this to finish. And I'll show you guys what to do at that point. All right, so the download is complete. And so we can just open up that folder. And one thing I like to do is you can just right click on it, open in terminal, and this will open up that downloads directory for us. And one thing you need to do is make that file executable. This is an image file. And that's why I open up the terminal. So this will be the only time you have to get into the terminal. But all you have to do is type chmod and then it's plus and then the X 
and then you could just type lm and hit tab and that'll tab it out that'll bring up that image for you because we're in that directory go down press enter that'll make it executable all right so now that it's executable let's go on and extract the app image and all you have to do is type period forward slash and then lm and i'm gonna tab it out so it opens it up but all you have to do is type dash image and then dash extract and let's go down press enter and i'll extract this extract it all for us and if we ls this directory you'll see that we have a folder in there now called squash fs root and what you want to do is go into that so let's go squash press enter one thing you have to do is set permissions on a specific file and i'll show you guys that right fast and i'll have these instructions probably on my website i'll go down and uh, put a link down in the description of the video because now that i look at it, it is getting a little long to where i want to actually put this together for you guys but it's a file called chrome sandbox tab that out and we got to type it in correctly and there's a file in there called chrome sandbox i'm gonna tab it out press enter and one other thing we need to do with this file is change the permissions on it so we change the ownership to root so let's type sudo chmod chrome sandbox and go down press now change the permissions on there we can ls i'm not gonna ls that because it has a whole bunch of files in it but we can go down and run it now so it is installed and we can run it all from this folder and press, and boom it will open up the application for us and so here is lm studio it's pretty simple yeah first thing is it'll walk you through the uh, onboarding process so you just get uh first llm let's download this one this is the llama one which is meta's model it's one of their smallest models as you can see it's like one gigabyte so it's not going to take up that much space it has uh one point billion parameters so it's around three gigabytes in space or no it's like a gig in space i believe so but i skip ahead so you guys ain't gotta wait for this all right so it's installed all we had to do is it'll say all set get started with a small fast and easy to use model that's the one that it recommends so let's go on and hit start new chat boom and now we have a interface so if you guys are not a fan of running or interacting with your model from the command line then this is a great app for that and what you want to do is select that once you get past there or whatever they have some options in here you can do gpu offloading context length you can just make changes in here if you need to i recommend you leave a default and then hit load model boom and so now we're good it's loading the model and if you run into any issues because i know i've seen errors where it's runtime errors and that was mainly because i was using like a virtual cpu i just gave it the full cpu on on my system in order to get it to work but if you run into those issues running it on a virtual machine, I just want to show you guys where to find those issues. So under runtime, they do have an extension pack that you want to install. So you want to find it and make sure you got the latest version of it. And it's also compatible with your hardware that you have. So just check that out. Just make sure. But that's the, the settings down here on the right. And boom. And that'll get you squared away if it's something like that. So let's go to a test there. Can you show me a cool whatever math proof? Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, it runs pretty quick. And it's like I said, this is running in a application. You know what I'm saying? It's running this model from an application. You got a web UI. It's running this model. You know what I'm saying? Unlike running it in the terminal, which in my opinion is not that bad. You know what I'm saying? But this way it's a whole lot easier it's for those people that don't like the command line. You know what I'm saying? You have an easy way to run models with no problem on your desktop. All right. So as you can see, we ran the model. That's super cool right there. You can copy the message. You can edit the message if you need to make changes. All that good stuff that you typically see. Let me change this thing to if we got it. Let's see. Expand reasoning block. Oh, you can't change the. Hold on. Oh, that's the font size plain text mono ah uh, so you can't change it to dork unless it's in here i can't remember if they have it in here yeah they don't app settings hold on let's go down here see if we have a dork mode because to be honest i can't see with all these lights that i have pointed at my face it's hard for me to see the screen but i guess not I guess they don't have it so let me show you guys how to add another model right fast so we can eject this model that way it's not using it anymore it's ejecting it from memory and then we can go back into our settings this is one of the ways i do it but you can search for a model let's go on and get that deep seek see if we can find it right fast so yeah we got the 7b ah let's see if we got a super small one because i don't want to get that 7b on here let me see what this light is 15 billion parameters i might as well get 7b so everything else is big 
and I don't want to get that those big models and I'm not sure about these down here I'm gonna just get the main ones I'm gonna just get the 7b that's fine all you got to do is download it it's 4.9 gigs so you, you'll see this pop up it'll go through download the model for us and then once this finished I'll come back that way we can go through and test out deep seat as well all right so that is done and as you can see I just wanted to show you guys this right fast this is downloading it from huggy face I believe huggy face let's make sure I've always wanted to download something from huggy face but I didn't want to create an account as you can see it is oh it's still going it says downloading 100% so it's not 100% full but it does say finished downloading so it has finished downloading let's load the model there we go all right so it's going to load the model into memory for us and let's run this same example can you show me a cool math proof so let's see what it does oh that's crazy so it didn't even finish downloading yet until now and it loaded the it should have showed you able to load the actual model at that point but looks like we are good so i'm gonna let this run and you guys can check it out at the end i'll be back when it finishes all right so we're good it finished it didn't take too long but i just want to show you guys what it'll do and actually it's using a wrong model so that was actually the other model i was wondering why it let me load the model but anyway let's create a new chat so can you show me a math proof so this is from deep seek so i apologize for that it typically does a lot more of the or shows a lot more of the logic as it's going through and printing out the chat see right here thoughts thinking and this thing is a little slow on here because i'm running a bigger model of deep seek than the one i ran for olama was that was a small that was a fraction distilled model that was only like a gig in size this thing is like seven gigs or something like that so it's got seven billion parameters in it so it's gonna take a while and then plus this virtual machine is not the best oh yeah and just to show you guys right fast the thinking right now is minimized but you can expand the content you can look at what it's actually doing to come up with the solution that i'm asking or the question that i'm asking and actually we won't wait until it's finished i just wanted to show you guys that you can run it on here i'm gonna go down here stop because it's hard running this 7b model on this desktop with a little bit of ram and two processors and all that good stuff and so that's it you successfully installed and set up lm studio on your ubuntu 24 4 system like i said this powerful tool allows you to harness the capability of large language models directly on your machine ensuring both privacy and control and if you find this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the keep it techie channel for more linux and tech tutorials and also let me know what model you're running what model are you testing go on let me know but thanks for watching and until next time keep it techie yo what's up y'all listen if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move let me tell you tech is where it's at i don't care where you coming from whether you've got a degree a ged or just pure hustle there's room for you in this game you see tech is more than just keyboards and code it's solving problems creating opportunities and building the future you already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start it cares where you're willing to go you can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is going to pass anyway, so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself. Store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it taking.